set it up to boot on coin ops to boot directly to coin ops and also put uh, I like the unleash X unleash X dash better than um, XMBC it's just my preference so um, I can put in there uh, the dashboard uh, menu item in the coin ops to where you can get right back to unleash X from coin ops even though it's booted directly to it so I'll show you how to do that first if you go down to file explorer hit A back up here so you can see I think it, you should be able to see everything and then um, right trigger go down to where your coin ops is uh, it's in the F folder for me so then go to emulators coin ops and just go down to dashboard should be empty okay then left trigger go to the E folder and the way uh, the way my box is set up I know where the where where the um, default XBE file is for booting to Unleash X it's under the dashboard folder so there it is default XBE so what I do is I hit the start button and just go to copy and hit A okay okay and that's it that's all you had to do and then I hit the back button so now if I go to emulators I'm, I'm going to just boot up to that go into emulators open up coin ops file Okay, now if I hit the start button, we go down to the bottom, there's a there's a, an, an item called dashboard. So if I hit dashboard, it's going to take me back to um, Unleash X. Now this looks a little different, but the, this is the standard at Unleash X. I actually changed the skins because I like the green shapes by Cthulhu. So if I do that now, um, you, know, you can change it to whatever you, whatever you like. I like this one. And once you change it once, it'll come back to that again. Now I'm going to go on to the um, PC and show you how to get your Xbox to boot directly to CoinOps. Um, one thing that you can do, you can either do it here or you can do it on your PC. I'll start it here. And that's to go to the File Explorer. Go down to um, E. And then create a new folder. So hit the Start button new folder and we're going to call this backup backup space dash I don't think it really matters what you call it but that's what it is so that's what, that's what we're calling it and I'm just following a tutorial that I'll put a link to but you know, the, it's always nice I think to have a, a kind of a video kind of through where you walk through where you can see it see somebody actually doing it it just makes you feel more comfortable and hit done okay that's done now um, I'm going to go to the PC and just um, connect in with FXP, just to FTP into the box, so you know, everything's, everything's good there. But before you, before you do too much, you want to make sure you FTP in, so this, oh, this one's going to have to reboot, so let me just reboot. I have to reboot because it. Um, I was in coin ops and I came back out to that dash. Uh, so there, in order to FTP in, I would have to use the, the coin ops FTP method, which I'll show you how to do that. But okay, so now I uh, rebooted. So I'm going to FTP in really quick. Once I get a, a connection, all right. So I know I'm connected. So I'm going to go ahead and show you um, what I want to do, which is move. Go into my dashboard folder. And on the right trigger, I'm going to go into my backup dash. On the left trigger, go to and move the default XBE. I'm actually going to move it this time into the backup dash folder that I just created. So A to move it. Okay. Okay. All right. Now it's really important that you have a, a um, good FTP line set up before you do that. I'm going to go to the PC and I, I'll, I'll pick it up and then I'll come right back. Okay, to set your Xbox to boot directly to CoinOps, what you want to do here on is to FTP into your Xbox, so we've already done that, and then you're going to want to open up a program called XBE Shortcut Maker, and we already know where um, CoinOps boots, so we'll go there, F emulators, coin ops 5 it 
is the default .xbe file. That's the one we want. So we need to make this target path the same as this. So f emulators Five, and then this name the same. Now this needs to be exactly as this, the caps and spaces and everything. So coin op space five, coin op space five, default. Okay, now I'll create my shortcut. Now I'm actually going to save it in um, the folder boots to coin ops. So we'll call it default, D-E-F-A-U-L-T, and there it is. Now I'm going to navigate back up to my ePartition dashboard. That is where Unleash X used to be, used to point. So now I'll transfer put the new default XPE in, and that's it. We're done. Now we can go back to the Xbox, click on that, and it will boot right up to CoinOps. Wasn't there just a minute ago? You hit A, and it's going to boot to CoinOps file, which is fantastic. That's uh, that's what we wanted to do, and I think that I mean if you're going to use the box that way anyway, why not have it boot to CoinOps file right from the beginning? So um, if I go up to um, to show you a couple more things real quick, if you wanted to FTP into this box now, go down to, you have to be in the advanced settings, go down to FTP server, hit A, and it's going to bring you up to this um, kind of, I don't know, kind of orange screen, I don't see colors that great, but it's like an orange kind of screen, okay, and it's the settings menu, so if you just go down, there it gives you the kind of a static IP address that you can use to to uh, get back into your Xbox right from the coin ops. Okay now I'm just gonna soft boot it because it still has unleash X as the dash so I mean not as the dash but it's the soft mod so I'm gonna soft boot it it'll still work. Now I can go to the settings menu if I want to make it really um, kid friendly or something like that I can disable the advanced settings back out of there and now um, if you just hit the start button you've got your dashboard you can get right back to unleash X or if you wanted to put XNBC there you could personally I'll just like to put XNBC in the applications and I'll just FP, FTP that over later on uh, I don't think I need to show that but um, again, I'll just soft boot it again, just so you can see. So I boot it up. Straight to coin ops. Really nice, easy to do, and I think, I mean, if you're going to use it this way anyway, why not have it boot to it? The only thing I could say is you really need to, you know, go through the README. I'll put a, I'll put a, um, a, a link to a really nice tutorial in there, uh, description. Um, 